we all took a vote what was for dinner tonight and spaghetti was the winner so that's what we're going to have um, instead of spaghetti just regular ground meat you know uh, browned up um, with spaghetti sauce I'm going to make meatballs and I'm going to show you how to do it so let's get on with it what I got right here is uh, about a pound and a half of hamburger meat that's what I had uh, and uh, what I'm going to add to it start it off it's so one of them uh, onion soup mix packs. Uh, get that in there. And this stuff, this stuff right here, you can put this in a lot of recipes, this onion soup mix. Next thing we're going to put in there is um, garlic powder. Kind of a lot of garlic powder. You want kind of a lot. Uh, next thing we're going to do is salt and pepper. We'll do salt and pepper next. A little pepper. And then we're going to do crackers. We need about a, with this hamburger meat, probably like a cup of breadcrumbs or whatever I'm going to use crackers these saltine crackers you know it's what I got so I'm just going to take them out and just crush them up just like that y'all seen what I've done next thing a little bit of ketchup not too much ketchup but not that much ketchup and an egg you gotta have an egg And that's that's what's gonna hold all this together, them crackers and them that egg. So we got all them ingredients. Now it's time to get in there and get them all together. I did wash my hands, took my wedding ring off, so I'm good to go on this part. But what I want to do is just make sure I get all them ingredients in there together, mixed up good. keep going back and forth smashing it and it'll start coming together when it gets good mixed up itself you'll, you'll start you'll start being able to see that it's all sticking together real good when it gets to that point then we can start making our our balls out of it and that's all it is to that right there I mean just simple ingredients Crackers, lifted onion soup mix, a little ketchup, garlic powder, salt and pepper. Alright, now that's all mixed up good. Got everything mixed up. So now we're going to make some balls and I'm going to get them out here on the plate. And make these balls. Make them the size you, you know, what, what you like. Uh, I'm going to make them not small, not large. Try to get them right in the in the middle of the medium. So what I think I'm gonna do with my portion of this is I'm gonna make me a meatball sub instead of eating it with spaghetti noodles. And when we get done getting it cooked and everything, I'll show you how to make a sub with this right here. So you just keep pinching it off and making some balls. It goes really really quick. And you don't want to get these completely perfectly round. Um, you know, get them in that shape, but leave them a little lumpy. Because um, those parts is what's going to keep them from... Because I'm going to cook them in the cast iron skillet. <clears throat> so them lumps on there make it where they don't roll around and they're actually brown. Uh, you know, easier to brown when they're just... Uh, you know, got lumps and stuff on them because they don't roll around so much. So you do get good cooking on, you know, all sides of it that way. So just moving right along. It don't take long, like I say, to make these. And this will be really good. Uh, they don't know that I'm making uh, meatballs. They just think I'm in here making spaghetti. So it'll be a surprise for for them. 
I didn't know I was going to make these meatballs until I came in here. Uh, like I said, once we voted in spaghetti, I knew what I had to do. And then I got in here looking around and meatballs come to mind. And here we are at meatballs. We get right on with this. Alright, I got all my meatballs made up. I'm going to wash my hands, get clean up this mess right here, and I'll meet you back at the stove. Alright, I made it back to the stove. And while, <clears throat> while I was cleaning my mess up over there, I got my water started. And what that is, just water, salt, and a little um, oil in there so the noodles, you know, they come, they don't stick. And what I'm fixing to tell you is pretty important about cooking these meatballs. I got my skillet up pretty high. And the reason is because when I put these in there, I want them to, like, sear, you know, I guess is the word. Um, and cook them really done on the outside real fast so they kind of have a crunch to them. Uh, but then I'll cut the heat back, you know, add the sauce or whatever, and just let them simmer and marinate in that sauce as they cook or whatever. But I want the outside to be really, really, like, crispy. Um, it just it it you'll benefit from it if you do it this way. I promise you. All right, so we're just gonna get these in, get these to start frying up. Just get them in at random, whatever. Just to make sure they all get in there. some back here we'll put some back here for room issues got two might as well use them right so we'll get them frying up get them crispy on the outside get them on get them in some sauce get our noodles going and we'll have supper after that Get some bread in the oven. Like I said, cook these really, really high at first. And, and don't burn them, but what you want is... You see that real dark brown on there? It's not burnt, but it's going to be crispy. That's what you want. Get these little things where they ain't burning, but where they're getting good. And that good flavor, that crisp outside. cook on that side, get them turned over, keep them rolling around, make sure that they're burning, keep them moving. Man, you could smell that already. Mm, that's gonna, this, this, this is going to be good. It's a good idea of meatballs. A really good idea of meatballs. Like I said, all I'm doing right now, I'm not trying to cook them on the inside. I'm just getting the outside cooked. All I want to do is just sear that outside and get that flavor.
Y'all hear that pan work and that sizzle? You know that's going to be good. Alright, what I'm going to do is get all these browned up, take them out, get that grease off, uh, and I'll bring you back. Let me, let me get these out and get them drained off a little bit. Okay, I'm back. I got my meatballs drained out. Let me show you what I was talking about frying those first. You see that crisp outside that I got? That right there is what's going to keep them, their integrity as a meatball plus flavor. So anyway, that, that's, that's the reason you want to cook them fast like that. That's the reason I did it. So we're going to get these in here and cook them slow now. Get a bunch in there. here even all those those little flavors right there get them in there you don't need to waste all right now what I'm gonna do spaghetti sauce <clears throat> whatever spaghetti sauce you like if I'm sure you got a favorite your family uses the same sauce pretty much all the time I'd say most families do I use what's on sale. Now what we're going to do is just let these cook slow in the pan. Get them sauteing. Let them do their thing. Just like that. Alright, so we got our we got our meatballs down off in our spaghetti sauce cooking. And um, the reason that I went ahead and put them in there like that, not with the with the hamburger meat not all not all the way being cooked, is because I want to cook this slow and let that be able to marry one another. Uh, anyway. I'm gonna show you guys a tip, kitchen tip. A little trick I learned. What you do when you cook pasta, open up your box and get it all out in your hand. And this is angel hair pasta. It's that real small stuff. But what you do is you get it out of the box, get it in your pan and get it right in the center and twist it and then let go. See how it falls all the way around the sides like that? That way your noodles don't get in there and stick together and you ain't got to worry about uh, not having some done more than others and some not as good. So, nothing left to do now but let these simmer down. Let my noodles get done. Drain them off. And I'll bring you guys back. Alright, I'm back. I got everything done. Um, everything's cooked, the noodles, the spaghetti, the meatballs. Um, and what I got right here is just a regular sub bun. Uh, some of that meatball stuff, some cheese, and I'll show, show you how I'm going to make this thing. Get my bread cut up here. Get her opened up. Just like that. And what I'm going to do with these meatballs is get me one out of here. line me up a few meatballs down through there and they did stay shaped like meatballs uh, kept their integrity like I thought they would uh, gonna be really really good can't you tell man that's gonna be good so you can get me some sauce down in there another meatball I'm just make me a little sub here That's all 
all it is to it. Get all that. Alright, now what I'm going to do, and that's the sandwich there, get me some of this Parmesan cheese on here, like that. And this right here is that garlic salt, it's got uh, parsley in it, ground parsley. Don't go too heavy with that neither, but just a little bit on there. You can't overdo it. And this right here is that mozzarella, what's well, a meatball sub without mozzarella. Get that on there. We want a lot of cheese too. And there you have it. From my kitchen to yours. Meatball Okay, sub. let's give this thing a try. Mmm. My favorite. Mmm. That's my new favorite. Man, I hit it out of the park with that recipe. Please try this. Really simple, easy to make. And man, it's good. I'm going to get on with it. Thank you. Enjoy.